I've driven through, I've never visited. Oh, so I've beautiful, got to do that. Yeah. beautiful out there. Well, if you were living in Western New York four years ago, as of this week, then we've got just one word for you that you'll never forget. It's November. I remember it. I was stuck downtown. That's right. It was back in 2014. That was the historic storm that hit Western New York and hit us very hard. And how you remember this November storm really depends on where you live. Some areas got just a few inches of snow, while other miles away, the snow piled up well over your head. Yeah, there was that line. Some of the biggest snow piles were here well into the following summer, like the massive pile of ice, snow, and dirt, and a lot of gross stuff Ugh. left behind near Buffalo's Central Terminal. And one thing we want to talk about tonight as we look back is exactly how the conditions added up to become as powerful as this all was. And meteorologist Heather Waldman takes a unique look in this Two on Your Side original. Seven feet of snow in five days. If you were here in 2014, you know all about Snowvember. But would you believe the beginnings of all of that snow were actually linked to the tropical Pacific? Yep. Powerful Typhoon Nori was steaming northward in the West Pacific in early November of that year. It never made landfall, but it did send the jet stream into a wild roller coaster pattern that sent record heat to Alaska and some of the coldest November air in decades into the central United States. Buffalo's temperature plunged into the 30s on November 13th. Four days later, on Monday, November 17th, a cold front swept through western New York along with a fresh wave of midwinter air. In its wake, the perfect mix of steady winds, instability, and high octane energy. A thunderous band of lake effect snow set up and locked into place over the South Towns by 9 p.m. that day. Heavy snow stretched from Hamburg to Lackawanna out towards Alden, and it dropped snowfall rates of three to six inches per hour. Within 24 hours, some places already had four to five feet of snow on the ground. What was most staggering about this storm was the sharp cutoff of near blizzard-like conditions. Close to the corner of transit in Genesee, you only had to kick around a few inches of snow. But if you had gone just two miles to the south near Walden Avenue, you would have had to muscle through several feet of snow. Video from the storm shows a literal wall of white looking south from the city. When everything finally subsided on Friday the 21st, 88 inches of snow had been measured in Cowellsville, a whopping 74 inches in Lancaster. Meanwhile, at the Buffalo Airport, eh, just 17 inches. By comparison, the rest of the 2014-15 snowfall season was mercifully tame. That was a great report, Heather. Thank you very much. I remember that storm like it was yesterday, just like a lot of you remember it. Mm -hmm. It was uh, something to contend with, right. but we got through it. I know that. Yeah, and just driving around, you could really see that line that really, we did a lot of driving around South mm -hmm. Buffalo where you couldn't see that there were cars parked there anymore. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I think we were into July when we had the last snow piles right. that were gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs>